introduction to the nervous system. This is a human body. This is the brain. And this is the spinal cord. Spinal cord. These are spinal nerves, spinal nerves, and these are cranial nerves. Cranial nerves, they arise from the cranium. Now the nervous system, it contains of two parts based on the function and the structure. We have central nervous system central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Now what are these systems made up of? The central nervous system is made up of brain and the spinal cord. That's it. The central nervous system contains brain and spinal cord. Spinal cord this is the human brain of the body and this is the spinal cord that descends down from the cranium now where does the brain and the spinal cord where did they develop from these structures they develop from the neural tube this neural tube is present in the embryo in the embryo Whereas the peripheral nervous system, it contains structures that lie outside the central nervous system. They lie outside the CNS. CNS is an abbreviation for central nervous system and PNS is an abbreviation for peripheral nervous system. Now, the structures of the PNS, they lie outside the CNS. They lie outside the central nervous system and they connect the CNS, that is the brain and the spinal cord, to the rest of the body. So the structures that are included in the PNS are cranial nerves, the cranial nerves, cranial nerves, they arise from the cranium or the brain and they are composed of spinal nerves the spinal nerves they arise from the spinal cord now these structures they lie outside the CNS they lie outside the brain they lie outside the spinal cord they connect the CNS you see the brain and the spinal cord are connected to the rest of the body through these nerves that are cranial nerves and the spinal nerves they develop from the neural crest cells they develop from neural crest cells in the embryo the CNS the brain and the spinal cord they develop from the neural tube in the embryo whereas the parts of the PNS they arise from the neural crest cells central nervous system the central nervous system is composed of brain and the spinal cord so the parts of the brain are we have cerebellum the brain stem brain stem
cerebrum which has two cerebral hemispheres two cerebral hemispheres this right here is a structure of the brain when we cut the brain into two halves this is what we see and this is the right cerebral hemisphere this is the right part of the brain cerebellum the structure right here this one is called the cerebellum this is the cerebellum of the brain and this structure the cerebellum has two lateral lobes the cerebellum has two lateral lobes and a midline portion so this is one lateral lobe this is the right lateral lobe and this is a midline portion in the center the structure you see right here is the brain stem this structure is called the brain stem of the brain and there are three parts of a brain stem the top part right here is called the mid brain it is the mid brain as we proceed down further this part is called as bones and this right here is the medulla so these are the three parts of the brain stem and the topmost part that is the cerebrum so this is the cerebrum and this is one of the two cerebral hemispheres this is the right cerebral hemisphere the cerebrum has two layers it has an outer layer it has an outer layer which is known as gray matter and an inner layer we have an outer layer and an inner layer and it's called the white matter white matter this is a general structure of the brain we will discuss the details of each of these parts of the brain in our later videos the second structure of the cns or the central nervous system is the spinal cord spinal cord this spinal cord is cylindrical in shape it is cylindrical in shape and it gives rise to spinal nerves in the body and gives rise to spinal nerves spinal nerves the spinal cord and the brain they're suspended and protected by three layers of connective tissue and we call them as meninges meninges they are three layers of connective tissue that suspend and protect the structures of the cns that are brain and the spinal cord meninges meninges are three layers of connective tissue that surround suspend and protect the brain they are three layers of connective tissue they surround suspend and they protect the brain and the spinal cord now the three layers of the meninges are we'll start on with the first and the external most layer that is 
the dura mater so this is the skull and just beneath the skull the blue one right here is the external most layer the external most meningeal layer and is known as the dura mater right next to the dura mater we have another meningeal layer and it is called as the arachnoid layer this arachnoid layer it lies against the dura mater the arachnoid layer lies against the dura mater and the innermost layer this is the innermost layer the innermost layer is known as the pia mater and this pia mater is firmly attached to the brain and the spinal cord so these are the three layers are the three meningeal layers that surround and protect the brain the first one is the dura mater that is the external most layer right here and then right next to, to the dura mater is the arachnoid layer or the arachnoid matter the arachnoid matter lies against the dura mater and then we have the pia mater the pia mater is the most internal layer the most internal meningeal layer and it is attached to the brain and the spinal cord now you see the space there is some kind of space between the pia matter and the arachnoid matter this space is known as the sub arachnoid space sub arachnoid space the subarachnoid space it contains the CSF the cerebrospinal fluid and also the venous plexus the subarachnoid space it contains the CSF it has cerebrospinal fluid in between them so the three layers of the meninges are the dura mater the arachnoid mater and the pia mater along with the space between the pia mater and the arachnoid mater that is known as the sub arachnoid space and this space contains the cerebrospinal fluid we will discuss the spinal cord in detail in our later videos